are a ton of different ways to throw your backhand straight punch. And that's exactly what we're gonna go over today. The backhand cross in boxing, the reverse punch in karate, and a special kung fu technique that I've never even seen before. Now keep in mind, they each serve different purposes and none of them are the best. Except for karate, of course, obviously. Today, I wanted to really get to the super roots of punching in general. I have a man here from Jawbreaker Boxing. Why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Lucas Tantri. I'm the gym manager, assistant coach, and an amateur boxer here at Jawbreaker Boxing. Trained solely under Remy Fullwood, undefeated, retired, professional boxer himself. That's a beautiful word, isn't it? Undefeated, that's <laughs> yeah. it. From my good boxing stance, right? I got my feet in the right spot. I'm not crossing my feet. That's another point. I'm never gonna end up here or even too wide, right? Mm -hmm. Always got that little bit of space in between. Right? I like that rule of thumb, I like to say it. I should be able to slide my front foot back without clipping here. Now, when I'm demonstrating the cross, I always have my people just do what the back foot does first. So without throwing the punch, I like to get them to switch the bug right here. If I have somebody do this and they do it and they go like this, mm -hmm. then I tell them, you wanna keep your weight back, you wanna feel more pressure here, one, to pull that power from the ground, you feel that tension there. Right? If I'm up here, kind of, it's kind of pointless putting this right here. And I'm staying nice and level right over my stance. I was gonna ask if you, if, if I was gonna say how much of your weight was on one foot or the other, would you say 50-50? I'd like to say 50-50, right okay. now. So once they got this down, I go over what their hand does. And I say, come straight out. I get them to imitate what I'm doing, right? Mm -hmm. So before I even tell them to add the foot with it, I come right out and on the very end, snap that thumb down. Okay. Right? Now, there's a couple main important things right there is when I come out, I'm not turning that thumb down too early because look what happens to my elbow. Yeah, yeah. Comes out here, that's not gonna translate the same power, right? Comes from inside, pull that left shoulder back, on the very end, I snap that thumb down. Notice where that puts my chin. Sure. Behind my shoulder, behind my defensive hand, I'm protected as I'm punching. Yeah. When you put that with the foot, you get your hip into it, and it all times together. All right, it's right here. Boom. As I, and I come back in the same exact way that I went out. Right. And the next step, especially when somebody's learning, and they're putting all that together, I'm giving them a lot of information. Breathe with your punches. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching a pro fight, really any fight you're gonna hear, like yeah. you always hear that exhale, right? And the punching, and you'll get to a point where you don't have to think about it, it just happens. Would you care if one of you held mitts and then I hit mitts Absolutely. and you kind of that's, tweak that's, it from there? That's what I do, that's Let's how do I help people. This, this is how I get free lessons and, and good martial arts, by just acting like I, it's part of a video. <laughs> that's it, that's it, do it again. That's it. Now, that same tell I was talking about earlier where that hand comes down, uh -huh. comes out, he's giving me that tell right now. I wouldn't get hit with that right <laughs> hand. <laughs> right here, and be over here, uh -huh. because he's dropping it and shooting right out. Okay. So, say, from your chin, straight out. That's it. That way he doesn't give me that tell of loading it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. So that tell is gone. He's turning his foot. He's got it coming back very good. I'm gonna say he can turn it over a little bit more. Okay. And I didn't specify that enough. That is a very big part of the cross in boxing is that, that real turnover right there. Because it's very easy to touch your target and stop where it makes contact. Yeah. Right? That turnover is what causes the cut, causes the bruising, the swelling. That little snap on it. Think of it like the end of a whip. And that turnover really ensures that you're on the end of the point. Hmm. Like the end of a whip. Nice. That's it. That's it. One more. That's it. Exactly good. That's right, very good. Thank you so much for this awesome lesson. Thanks for teaching the people. Now, if they want to get more information from you, where can they find it? Jawbreaker919.com for the website, Jawbreaker919 for the Instagram, Facebook, Jawbreaker Boxing. I'll have links. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't even know why I made them say it. Link for everything will be down below. Now today's video is brought to you by The Sports Letter. The Sports Letter takes all the most important sports information and sends it to you in a newsletter every weekday. So there's no more Jerry in the office being like, oh, you didn't catch a game yesterday, huh? Or, no, Seth, you can't marry my daughter because you don't know anything about the Yankees. And along with that, they also do really cool sports-related giveaways to their subscribers. For example, their most recent giveaway is a year of ESPN Plus and a $500 Dick's gift card. So if you want to make sure you never miss a highlight again, check out the link in the description for the sports letter. Now back to the video. Now, as your resident karate instructor, it's my job to teach the Gyakuzuki, or the backhand, it's the reverse punch. 
Reverse punch just meaning you're punching with the opposite foot that's forwards, or at least that's how I was taught it. If this foot is forwards, this hand is punching, reverse punch. Anyway, so the most time that you're gonna see the reverse punch, you'll see like super traditional karate guys doing it. Like if it's Shotokan, they'll start with a hand out here and you'll have this arm chambered back here. Now, it's not uncommon to see karate guys who have a little bit more of a low stance, uh, especially as you start to get sportier, like Shotokan tends to do. But even like super traditional styles, what you usually have is a super deep front leg, a back leg that's pretty straight, and not a ton of movement. Like I'm going here. What we start off with is a palm that's up. Now, if you're into more modern karate style, you're not most likely gonna have this hand up here. Maybe you'll start off in like a fighting stance like that comes from somewhere else. But if you're looking at like the super traditional, they'll start off something like this and then they'll turn and rotate it over. As they do that, they take this hand and they pull it back with their hikite. Boom, and I'm pulling it and chambering this one. Boom, as I throw this punch, okay? So if I'm gonna throw it super traditional, it'll look something like this. Now, this can be like varied, like over time it's grown into like the Shotokan sport karate where they've like really super extended, I don't even, I, I'm not even comfortable doing that, like I kind of just maybe pulled something. The way that I teach the reverse punch that's like the karate-fied version of it, we get in our stance here, which is a little bit lower than you would average see, a little bit further out because I'm trying to create distance. If I'm bare knuckle, I don't want anybody hitting me. And I'm still going from pretty much essentially palm up to rotating, turning over and really accentuating the hip movement. Pushing and the other shoulder coming back. Now instead of chambering it here, I usually prefer to chamber it up high, where if I'm here, I go like this, and I'm turning the shoulder over top, I'm pulling my arm back, but instead of going back here, I'm coming back here, right? Hands still a little bit lower than you would see in like boxing where they're really uptight, they're on the phone all the time. And, and to be honest, all karate styles are gonna have it like so it's slightly different. Like the most average traditional one you're gonna see is gonna be here, some form like here, and then they're going boom. Looks like this getting this turning over here, it's trying to strike with these two big knuckles, getting good alignment from the knuckle, through the wrist, through the elbow, one straight line, doom, doom. Putting the caboose behind everything else in a straight line, and when I'm making contact, I'm striking with the knuckle and putting force behind it. Uh, probably the most common punch that you're gonna see in karate is this backhand reverse punch. Okay, so we went over the boxing cross, we went over the karate reverse punch. Now I wanna get a chance to learn a little bit of kung fu here. Uh, my name is Chris Heinzman. Uh, I'm from Seven Star Kung Fu Academy in Chapel Hill, and we do Tibetan Hopgar Kung Fu, the David Chen lineage. What do you have for us today? Because I think, like we very briefly spoke about it, but I knew I wanted to be surprised just to touch. So, <laughs> so what have you got for us? So uh, we're comparing the straight punches. So our straight punch is called Chun Choi. Okay. Chun Choi is, uh, means penetrating punch or arrow punch. One of the major differences is instead of being in a position this way or sure. you know this kind of way, we're off the side. Okay. So we're gonna be extending the waistline all the way through and getting the opposite hand back. So we do a full pull and draw okay. on that back hand. Yeah, yeah. So the idea being that this back hand, once it's behind me, you don't know what it's doing. You know horse stance, we turn it this way, this is our bow and arrow. So like instead of a, like a karate set up this way, sure. you're off to the side this way. So we wanna get our shoulder to aim and we want to have the back hand behind us. So okay. the setup for that is going to be bending. A bend, drop the front elbow. Okay. Lift the back elbow a little bit so that back hand's ready to go palm forward like. Okay. And palm forward, then I'm going to shoot and squeeze this way. And you're going to pull punch. Yes. Okay. Pull punch. So you're really emphasizing this foot pivot. Yes. Like in boxing, we talked about a little bit of a foot pivot with exactly. one foot. Yes. Karate, we do the same thing, but you guys are going both sides. Yes, everything turn. Everything okay. Everything all at once and turn all at once. And turn all at once. Now I notice your back hand here is, is flexing too. This is a pull hand. So like in a, a karate movement, right? If we're basing out like the the Chinese martial art have a twin tigers. Okay. So twin tigers that is very similar, right? Yeah, everybody, yeah. Everybody does this. So this one is not just coming back, uh -huh. pulling it's back. It's pulling. Yeah. It's like a kima. Boxing, right? <laughs> pull pull yeah, back. Right. That, that same kind of idea. So this is that pull hand. Okay. So you're gonna pull and we squeeze at squeeze the back. Too. Okay. Right, so we're here, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 
that it feels like a very like raw natural movement mm -hmm. to be like oh. kids man oh. yeah. kids kids you see when they, they start swinging ah, like this right this way you watch mma sure right you see people when they get loose and they're charging somebody down yeah this is what they're doing like a blitz yeah sure that's what they're doing they they lose this yeah right and they say you know they get deep with that for sure i don't think i've ever seen the arm goes so far back, but it's 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 because we want this full shoulder. You want this shoulder to aim and this hip to aim. So if I'm here like this, sure. right? I have this distance here, right? Yep. If I'm here like this, I have that distance there. Ah, interesting. So I've got more extension away, sure. right? Yeah. So I'm getting that distance out so I can step off and move that. Uh, regarding where your feet are, you're you're a little sideways here do you have knees pointing in a specific direction feet they're, they're essentially 45 degrees so if i'm on a line i'm yep. on a line here okay i turn you, you say 45. okay yeah sure, 45 <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. 42.7 <laughs> 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 no you're off <laughs> no. right <laughs> no you're, you're that kind of distance that okay way. and then this knee get all the way to the to like if i had a level right here knee over toes okay right to that toe gotcha yeah if you have this foot straight uh -huh. make this foot straight here sure now this balances. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was thinking. Lot, nothing. Because horse stance, you know, really good balance this foot way. Nothing this way. Yeah, right. So, so your uh, your counter to that is to go foot forty five. Partial. Okay. You're you're here for a moment. Sure. Yeah. I'm not yeah, trying to course. resist you. Yeah, of course. So when you land this, you're here for this moment, uh -huh. and then you're gone again. Okay. You're ready to step and go anyway. Your point of impact. Exactly so. You're here. Okay. That's Interesting. You're exactly. Starting here at the other one or, or yeah like yeah yeah no you can there and just relax and bend it out you can bend the elbow so you got it and you're going to pull that hand and as much as you pull this one to go in you're going to pull that one to go back okay you're going to do a thing like that yep and it's and rotating over this way yeah you come past this one again it's coming from under this way boom yeah okay. yeah yeah so it doesn't come up by your shoulder it's yeah. going to come under so this one's going to start back here relax uh -huh. it it's here boom. okay it's just right, but I don't come in too tight. Like, sure, yeah, you might as well not even start back here if you're just gonna touch yeah, the exactly, hip and go. Okay. Exactly, the, the way it gets there straight is that I come through that way, so mm. I get offline. Yeah, that's the kind of way. Yeah, that's the way, pull hand though. You think all about your front hand. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Pull, pull this hand back. Pull, pull, you gotta think about your back hand. Think back hand, yes. Twist the waist, hit back hand, yeah, think about it, pull that. Pull. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Yeah, like that. See? Okay, so that was awesome. If they Perfect. want to uh, keep up with you, if they want to follow you somewhere on social media, oh, yeah. where can they do that? <laughs> I, guess, I mean, they don't have time. <laughs> I, I have that. I just don't know what they are off the that. I'm not no, gonna... you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. No, wait, wait, wait. What do we have? Oh, yeah, yeah, but what is it? Is this... I'll put the link in the bio. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible with that I part. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>